In 1975, in the Philippines, two warriors, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, had already fought a bitter head-to-head -head contest. Three years after the thriller in Manila, Karpov and Korchnoi were to fight the Battle of Baguio. It wasn't just the ideological battle, it was a major clash of personalities. Korchner and Karpov hated each other, they loathed each other. Just clear demonstration of KGB dirty tricks. Victor had no doubts he would be assassinated. So if you were going to write a movie script, you couldn't have done it better. They've been spying on me ever since I landed at the airport. Everywhere I go, they spy on me. Everywhere I go, they spy on me. The whole Red Army against me. Chess has been viewed since Stalin's time as, the, as an intellectual tool to demonstrate the, the superiority, intellectual superiority of communist regime over the decadent West. In the Soviet Union, there was a number of things that the society prized above many others. Poetry, ballet, chess. These three areas that the Soviets absolutely prided themselves in, invested billions of rubles in the West were virtually overlooked. The Soviets weren't interested in chess per se, they were interested in winning. It was a part of propaganda. Chess was held in such high esteem and there was this system of uh, what was called pioneer houses in every district of a large city and in smaller cities as well. There would be a pioneer house with a chess coach. They had the best books, they had the best trainers, they had the best tournaments and it all led to, to this Soviet chess school. After the Second World War, they exchanged the title amongst themselves. It was internal business. And while the rest of the world admired their chess, there was nothing much more we could do about it. 